So before writing the pseudo code of the Morave counter-director, we just summarize everything that we have learned so far. So what we have learned essentially is that uh, the Moravic corner detector exploits a very simple idea for detecting corners in images is that let's suppose if a particular point in an image is a corner point and if you take a patch around that point and if you shift this patch by a small amount delta then the patch at pixel location P and the patch shifted by delta if we take the differences of all the pixels in these two patches, uh, then this difference would be significant. So basically there would be significant change in the appearance of a patch uh, that is centered on a corner as compared to a patch that is shifted by a small amount from that corner point. So this is a basic fundamental idea that the Morave corner detector exploits. Uh, and we have learned all the mathematical steps uh, necessary to sort of uh, model this idea mathematically. I will just summarize everything that we have learned so far. So we have learned is that we have a set S of delta which, con which contains all the shift values is a set of 1 comma 0, 0 comma 1, 1 comma 1 and negative 1 comma 1. We compute a vector of errors eta which is a vector of individual errors e of delta for delta we can just write this set as well or a vector perhaps <coughs> where delta belongs to s of delta where e of delta is given by sum or all q belonging to n p w the neighborhood uh, pixels of pixel p in a window and the size of this window is a hyperparameter and we have a weighting scheme for uh, weighting the uh, differences of the pixels so W of Q times the individual pixel differences I of Q minus I of Q plus delta square. So we have so we have four different values of delta delta one delta 2, delta 3, delta 4 and thus we will get this vector eta as a four dimensional vector of E of deltas and then we compute for each of the pixel we compute the minimum difference in this set or this vector so assume that this is a set so E of P is equal to min of we can subscript it with p to denote that this is the uh, vector of differences computed for pixel p is min of e of p where e of p so this operation returns the minimum of e of delta 1 e of delta 2 e of delta 3 e of delta 4. So this E of P would contain the minimum of all these four values and then once we have computed this, uh, this uh, minimum error term for each of the pixels we can just form an image of the minimum error values. So we form an image or uh, let's suppose we, we call it image Q whose value at location P is going to be E of P. So in this image Q of uh, minimum error values we compute local maximum. So corners are local maxima
and Q. So this is what the Moravec's corner detector is and this is what we have learned and we have also learned that uh, uh, and, and we also discussed that uh, in Moravec corner detector this uh, weighting this scheme is just uh, we use uniform weights. So it assigns equal weight irrespective of how far the pixel is from the center pixel. So now we can write the pseudo code. So we'll write the pseudo code in terms of the indexing i comma j. So we'll use row comma column index. So we'll use row comma column index because this is what you would actually be implementing in your computer. So we have for i equal to 0 to m minus 1 where m is the number of rows and n is the number of columns. So we will have nested loop for j equal to 0 to n minus 1 for each delta k where k is from 0, 1, k in this k is 0, 1, 2 and 3. So k takes four different values. So note uh, in, in we can just use 1, 2, 3 and 4. So here we have converted delta E1 to delta E0, delta E1, delta E2 and delta E3. Since in Python or C++ the indexing starts from 0. So we compute E, I, J, K as sum over all m comma n we are using a small m and a small n as compared to big m and which is the number of rows and number of columns so you're using a small m and a small n belonging to the neighborhood of pixel i comma j inside the window w of m comma n times i of m comma n minus i of m comma n plus delta square. So once we have computed this uh, three dimensional matrix, we can compute the matrix or image Q i j is going to be min over k e of i j k. So once we have computed the error terms for each of the k values k 0, 1, 2 and 3 in the q value we store the minimum along the uh, third dimension. As we had discussed earlier that uh, q basically contains the minimum of these error values. So this matrix E is going to be of dimension m cross n cross 4 and we select minimum along this lot th third dimensions and the size of this matrix Q is going to be m cross n. So once we have computed the uh, matrix Q again we start two nested for loops uh, then we can simply check if Q of i comma j is be, is beyond some threshold, so set it to zero if Q i j is less than some threshold, and set it to Q leave it as it is if Q i j 
is greater than the human supplied threshold. So once we have completed the matrix Q, we end this for loop and then we just iteratively check for the last step. Again, we'll begin two nested for loops for i equal to 0 to m minus 1 for j equal to 0 to n minus 1. Check if qij is a local maximum. And as we had discussed in the previous lecture, we can uh, compute the local maximum by just considering a 3 cross 3 neighborhood or a 5 cross 5 neighborhood. And we can check if uh, the qij is greater than all its neighbors. If that is the case, then that's a local maxima. If it is not the local maxima, then we just set it to 0. Set qij to 0 if not local maxima set to highest value, we can just binarize the image 255 if it is local maximum. So all the locations, so finally we return the image Q and the, all the locations in the Q that are 255 are corners in the image. So this is the uh, entire um, Moravec's corner detection algorithm.